Hello boys and girls and welcome to the second episode of Tea Talk. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> so as you guys can see my hair is very different. Um, I just got it done yesterday. It's very bright. Um, a little bit brighter than I wanted. I'm kind of getting used to it. I don't know. I went ahead and got some darker blue hair dye because I might just like try to like fade it down because it's super bright and like towards the ends are like a little greenish which I don't know about that so just a couple disclaimers um while I was getting ready for this video my nail just broke so that's really cute <laughs> I'm in the middle of finals at school yes I am still in school it is May 28th and I am still in school um, my last day is tomorrow um, I'm moving out of my house in two days, which is why there's nothing in here, which I usually have like a cute wall right here, nothing in here. Um, I was supposed to film a video last week. I was going to try everything on in my closet. Yes, I was going to do that for you guys. Um, and I found out that my camera was all the way home, three hours away in Savannah. Um, my mom came up this weekend, gave me my camera, and now I realize that my charger isn't here. So let's hope my camera's good on battery and we get through this video. So I just want to like apologize to you guys for not like being consistent lately. Um, school has just been a lot. Life has just been a lot. Um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to get through it together. Got my tea here. This is green tea decaffeinated because sometimes caffeine makes me shaky. But summer's almost here. I have so many video ideas. You guys have sent me like on Instagram and just like things that I've thought of that I'm going to work on this summer and I'm so excited. Okay, I just had to shift the camera a little bit. Hopefully we're in the frame, everything's all good and let's get started. Honestly, I don't even know how to start this. I feel like this is gonna be very raw. Like I haven't rehearsed this or anything. I just wrote down like literally topics I'm gonna talk about in my notes. I didn't, I don't know what I'm gonna say. So in this little segment, I know I haven't done one in about a month. Uh, my last one, if you guys wanna check it out, is about boys, relationships, sex advice, sort of. Um, basically boys and girls advice. Basically it was like a love relationship kind of video, but I'm still gonna be like incorporating a little bit of that throughout these little tea talks or whatever you guys recommend. Um, so this one's a little different, but I am going to touch on the subject of cheating. I don't like cheating. I don't really respect people who cheat. I just think it's low. It's dumb. Um, break up with the person. Like, I just... I don't understand it. I will never. Like, why would you want to do that to someone? So in my last tea talk, someone asked me... What do you do if, you, if you've gotten cheated on? And I thought I had never been cheated on, so I didn't really know how to answer it. Um, but to my knowledge, um, I found out a couple weeks ago that the boy I was in a relationship with two years actually cheated on me, um, which I, I found this out. Like, we're broken up. We've been broken up for months, but I found out that while we were dating, he did cheat on me with some other girl. Um, so that just brought back a lot of like painful memories um, It's even like weird talking about it right now because like you guys are all gonna see this um, So yeah, like I have gotten over him. I haven't thought about him honestly in months and After hearing that it brought back all of these weird memories like me questioning everything like when, when did he do that? Well, how did he act towards me after the fact that I never found out blows my mind um, the whole in our relationship he never trusted me he always made me feel like I was gonna be the one to cheat um, so that doesn't feel good to find this out so besides that that's all I'll say about my experience with that I guess in a way it's like closure like now I have a reason to be more mad than sad in a way but also I don't really want to hold grudges like to something else I'm going to talk about I just don't want to be on bad terms with anyone in my life it's just bad energy like I'd rather just be good with everyone and spread the positivity around um, now that doesn't mean that I'm going to like be fake to people or like be friends with everyone um, that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying like letting things go if you don't like someone just 
still be nice um it's just like putting stupid energy into people and you're literally wasting that energy that's what it is like you you putting your time and thoughts into someone and they're negative like it is actually draining mentally and physically so all i have to say about that is yeah don't understand it but we have to remember ladies and gentlemen out there when someone cheats it's not you it really is them i mean i saw a tweet that said um rihanna got cheated on beyonce got cheated on kim kardashian got cheated on these beautiful women out here got cheated on and that just goes to show it really is the cheaters fault like in that situation the man's problem like don't know why it happens don't know why someone has a perfect partner and still would want to hurt them or maybe i don't know maybe they're not trying to hurt them obviously they're being selfish for themselves they're thinking not with their head um yeah, and I guess ladies out there too are cheating, which I don't miss that. So hopefully it's not you and it's the other person and you just have to let them go. I don't believe in second chances like in that case. So now moving on to a lighter note, um, I want to talk about confidence. Confidence, body image, and being who you want to be i've gotten a good amount of comments or direct messages that say um that my life is perfect why is your life perfect why are you so perfect guys happy that to see these messages that you guys are saying that but it also at the same time makes me feel guilty because i struggle with confidence sometimes um but however i will say that like throughout my whole almost 20 years of living um this is the most confident i have ever been like the happiest i've ever been probably in my life but i still like get those days where i don't feel confident um especially like about my body just like being a girl i feel like we are so hard on ourselves um i have body dysmorphia which is basically like when you look in the mirror and you see something that maybe other people don't see or it's more emphasized like i don't know like i'll think that my arms are bigger than maybe what they actually are i just want to say that i do not have a perfect life um i've been through some stuff that i haven't really shared with anyone um it's not nothing like terrible but things that are you know things you go through and like they make you stronger but yeah like instagram all these social media platforms are fake basically like we pose for these things we want to look perfect um i know like for my instagram for example i'll take like 300 pictures before i post the right one put a filter on it like make the caption and it looks put together but like come on like that's not <laughs> it's not like real life i guess i feel like this is more real that's why i really like youtube because i feel like it's more genuine and it's a video you can see like what i look like at all different angles which um sometimes we don't like <laughs> but yeah and i can like explain myself better i really appreciate those comments and like i'm not saying not to say that it's just like i just want other girls and guys out there to know that like i still think thoughts like i don't know how to say this i still i still get self-conscious i still get sad and upset i still want to throw my phone and not look at it um okay so that brings me to my next topic which is basically how to have confidence which is something like i said i'm still working on but i feel like i can give some good tips because i've been using these tools if you will and i think that they really have made me feel better so this is just an example um when i was in high school um the city that i grew up in um it was nothing like a big city nothing like atlanta or new york or la um it was kind of more like a small town in georgia um but there was some diversity but some of the people i was friends with in high school were or i guess not not people i was just friends with people i knew in like my age group a lot of people played it safe if that makes sense the style 
how their hair was what they liked i feel like everything was safe like it was nothing was different does that make any sense i don't know i'm sure some people from my hometown watch my videos um you feel like you guys kind of know what i mean um and it's probably an age thing too like we're all kind of immature that age so if you did something like a little bit different in a way you get made fun of sort of like i remember this one guy tweeted at me like why do you try so hard to be different like stuff like that i wasn't trying to be different i was trying i was trying to be myself um and that wasn't really accepted i guess anyway so i remember in high school when i would wear a certain fashion trend or like a different outfit other than fucking lily pulitzer and what are those shoes jack roger jack rogers um okay okay i didn't really dress like that anyways as i would started to dress more myself and what i felt comfortable in and what i liked and what i thought was stylish i remember girls coming up to me and being like i wish i could pull that off i'm like you can you can pull off whatever you want to pull off here's what you do wear it simple as that wear it be confident in it no one will question you i'm serious like even now people are like oh my god i love your hair i could never do that i'm like yes you can like uh, yes i've never looked at someone and been like wow like they're really trying hard or like they're they really think they look good i've never done that because I don't know, like even if you don't feel like you look good in that if you pretend that you do, if you walk with confidence, put your shoulders back, walk like you own the place, no one's going to question you and they're going to think you do. Does that make sense? Like, fake it until you make it. Works every time. Look what people think. Fuck it. Sorry, but someone else's opinion of you, one, isn't your business. Hard to hear, but second it literally doesn't affect you what other people think of you how does that affect you it doesn't physically affect you what someone else thinks does that make sense like it can't be <laughs> it's not a real thing it's just what their own thoughts are um yeah sure like bullying and all of that that is real and stuff like that that's different but like just someone not liking what you're wearing or like someone making fun of your hair color whatever there's probably a hundred times more people than that one person that like it okay so on that topic it's been two years since i've graduated from high school which is so crazy to think about like literally two years ago i graduated and so i feel like i really am such a different person and i have just a whole new way of thinking and a new group of people that i hang out with but i still am like attached i guess to my hometown and like the people there like i'll go home see people i grew up with and it's like weird i don't know it makes me feel some type of way because it makes me almost feel like i'm in high school again but we're all grown up and these people grew, grew up too and you talk differently to each other it's not so immature and like i don't know you know how it I'm sure you guys know how it was in high school or even below that just people being petty and not being genuine and tiptoeing around people like now it's just easier to make connections and speak your truth um at least i feel that way i just want to say that lately i've been feeling like i have an ability <laughs> so i find that a lot of people are i guess comfortable with telling me things um, I guess because I've shown that I'm not afraid to show who I am and show my beliefs and thoughts um, Which is a whole nother topic and video we could get into a lot of people feel like comfortable with me because they know I'm not gonna judge them That's number one thing. I really am working on it still, but I really try not to judge anyone You don't know what people are going through. You don't know if they've had a bad day You just don't know and also why do you want to be thinking negative thoughts gonna give that negative energy? A bitch is all about the energy um so i feel like if you spread your kindness and goodness then it'll come back to you and everything will just be good energy all around i keep doing this um i forgot what i was talking about oh yeah so like let them know it's okay to like certain things like 
I was talking to a boy um, from my hometown that said he didn't want to get a drink with blueberries in it because he didn't want the fruit to seem girly. I'm like, it's a fruit. <laughs> I just hate that people really feel this way. Like, they really feel like they can't do certain things or like certain things because their friends are going to say things. Especially with boys. Like, boys, I feel like right now, this, like, toxic ma masculinity thing is really coming out. People are talking about it. And I really only have learned about it and, like, what it is in the past few months. And one of my good friends kind of explained it to me. It's just crazy, like, the things boys go through, like, to prove that they're masculine and they can't show emotions and they can't like anything feminine. Like, you can and it's okay. Oh my god, like, Jesus. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I just wish I could just tell these people. Well, I guess I can. <laughs> I don't know if any boys watch this, my videos, but um, it's okay to be who you are. It's okay to like girly things. I mean, sorry, blueberry isn't girly. Anyway, um, so yeah, my goal, I think, um, for the year, one of my social goals is for people to feel like they can talk to me. And even my subscribers, my followers, like, I, you can come talk to me. I feel like for some reason, I, well, I know why, I guess. I'm an empath, so I really, like, feel people's emotions. Very empathetic, sympathetic, um, sometimes too much. Yeah, I can really take on someone's what they're going through and I can really relate. Yeah, that's why I like making videos like this because I can share my experiences to help you out. I mean, 2019 is all about realizing things. I think this is the most growthful year I've had so far and it's only May so I can't wait to see what the rest of the year is going to be but i've learned so much i think i've grown a lot mentally like i feel like i can feel myself getting more mature so now i'm just going to answer a couple of y'all's questions when i said that i was going to be filming this second tea talk um just to kind of wrap things up okay someone asked how do you deal with loneliness um i like being alone I am an introverted extrovert, so I do like going out and being with friends and having fun and all that, but I do need my alone time. I feel like dealing with loneliness, you just have to be alone more. Like, go to dinner alone. Um, go see a movie alone. Go on a little trip alone. You learn yourself the best when you are alone and you're alone with your own thoughts and you let things process and even if it's not fun or you feel sad i think it's good to be in that sadness and like learn from that but yeah i think being alone more helps you deal with loneliness how to spot a real friend versus a fake one <laughs> oh, oh do i got something to say real friends gas you up <sighs> they want to know about your life they ask questions they don't all talk but they listen to they don't just care about benefiting themselves in your friendship but also benefiting you and i feel like it's reciprocated like i don't know i am also a people pleaser um like i give a lot to my friends even though i know that some can't give as much back to me i'm just that way um blessing and a curse like i was like that in my uh relationship too with my ex-boyfriend i just feel like I don't know what that is. Um, I try to get better at it, like not to give too much to someone. Um, I don't know. I just want, I always want people to be happy with me and I like going out of my way to do things. Um, maybe it's a cancer thing because I'm like a motherly figure. I think fake friends just don't, they're jealous. Um, they don't compliment you, stand you up. They don't say what they're going to do. They don't let you talk. Does that make sense? Like they don't want to hear about your problems. They just want to tell you theirs. And like the moment you start telling them about yours, they aren't interested. They don't, they aren't listening. Um, and you know, maybe that's on them, but that's another reason to just say bye. But I do think that when you're building a new friendship, like it's always good to like step back and not give too much. I mean, you can obviously show like your affection too but i would say like not too much oh my god people want to know about the james charles and todd t drama <laughs> y'all 
I am no way even close to these people. Um, obviously, I've been watching it along though. I guess now it's kind of over. Um, you know, I don't. I feel like I don't want to get on any sides. I feel like now I'm pretty neutral about everyone, except I don't know about Jeffrey. Like, I don't know. He seems a little sketch to me. I mean, I still. I don't know. I don't want to say I like him or don't like him. He's I'm neutral. I don't even know him. That's the thing is we don't even know these people. We just know what we're seeing online and it's so easy to make things up online. It is so easy to fake messages. So easy to fake anything online now that honestly we shouldn't have an opinion on it because we literally don't know the facts because they all three said like different things I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I don't know. They're just people. People make mistakes. I just feel like you have to let them live and not be so hard on them. Like this canceled culture, ridiculous. And then like what Jake Paul tried to do to Cody Ko, that was ridiculous. Can't wait to make some more videos this summer. I'm also gonna be working on my clothing line, which I don't know if I've talked a lot about on here, but I'm launching um, a clothing line in the fall. Um, so my first collection is gonna be like reworked, um, upcycled fashion, um, just because I still have some skills to learn like in school. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please leave suggestions down below of what you'd want to see for Tea Talk 3. Hopefully this was insightful. I feel like I just talked a lot. I don't even remember what I said. Just felt like I was being genuine and talking to a person. Um, Alright, bye.